Well, here we are out in the wilderness with wildlife on one side and a ton of traffic on the other. But who cares? Because we're here to take a first look at the beautiful 2019 brand new Volvo XC40. Take a look and see what you think. You too. You can join us. Hey, hey, that's rude. The car's over here. It's over here. The XC40 is Volvo's latest addition to the compact sport utility vehicle segment that is designed to compete against the likes of the BMW X1, Audi Q3, Mercedes Benz GLA, among many, many others. And it's available in two versions. You have the T4, which is the front wheel drive, as well as the T5, which is all wheel drive. And each comes in three trim levels. The Momentum or Base Edition, next the R Design or the Sport Edition, which is what we're looking at here, as well as the Inscription or Luxury Edition. Both the T4 as well as the T5 come with a four-cylinder turbocharged direct injected engine. The T4 front wheel drive though will generate 187 horsepower, 221 pound-feet of torque, while the T5 all-wheel drive will push that up to 248 horsepower, 258 pound-feet of torque. Consequently, the T4 will get from zero to 60 in about 8.1 seconds, whereas the T5, 6.1. All of the XC40s come with the 8-speed Geartronic automatic transmission with overdrive. And in the R edition, you'll also get paddle shifters. Of course, I can't forget to mention up front, you have your signature Volvo Thor Hammer LED daytime running lights. But you also have these amazing LED lights, as well as the adaptive lighting system, which will actually adjust the high beams and low beams so that not only do you get excellent visibility, but you don't blind the oncoming drivers. And they look amazing, just like the Volvo logo up front. This is a menacing front end for a compact sport utility vehicle, don't you think? The Q40 comes with front double wishbone suspension and a multi-link rear suspension in the back with available 18-inch rims, 19, 20, all the way up to 21 inches. And this helps with the dynamic appearance of this beautiful, bold Scandinavian design. But this also enhances the ground clearance just a touch because you have 8.3 inches of ground clearance, should you so desire to take it in rough terrain, things of that nature. And if you do, it's nice that you have this large polypropylene plastic protection running around the fender wells all the way down the lower body cladding of the vehicle, both front and rear. Volvo has also accented the exterior styling of the XC40 by giving you a choice of available roof colors where you can actually get, for example, on the R-Line edition here, the uh, black panel, but you can also get available on the momentum and inscription, a white panel as well, accented by white spokes on the rims and white caps on the side mirrors. The R design, well, you can see it matched right into the rear spoiler back there and these amazing rear tail lights. And in the back, beautiful gloss rear diffuser, as well as real exhaust outlets. Thanks, Volvo. We appreciate it. In the back, of course, you have your available hands-free foot release, or you could use the key fob or hit that button right there. And in the rear, you have a grand 20.7 cubic feet of useful cargo space that's very flexible. You have a shelf level up here. You can move this back to hold items securely in place, or you could take it off and use the lower shelf area, whatever you so desire. Plus, you have your fold-down 60-40 split folding rear seats with 57.5 cubic feet of cargo space. And that's good, good to have. 
To celebrate the XC40, I decided to wear my favorite travel jacket. And the reason it's my favorite is because it has so many zippered compartments all over the place, on the outside, on the inside, you name it, they're everywhere. But since we're getting into the brand new 2019 XC40, I don't need that storage because it's already built into the vehicle. Let me show you what I mean. Well, in the back seat, it's cozy room for five, more like two adults and a, a youngster here in the center. Here, that's a youngster. You don't hear that very often. That's what they call, you know, people call kids these days youngsters. <laughs> anyway, um, what I'm saying here is you do have a bit of the usual armrest cup holder action here. You have these gorgeously styled vents, even though you don't have any temperature controls back here. There is a 12 volt uh, outlet here. But I don't see any USB outlets back here. But there's even little storage areas back here right next to the seats. But if you think there's a lot of storage area here, wait till you see what's up front. As soon as you get in the car, you are wrapped in the lap of luxury. You have a very elegant and sophisticated interior because you'd expect nothing less from Volvo. The auto start stop system works quite nicely within the vehicle. They want to help maximize fuel efficiency because you're looking at around 23 miles per gallon around town, about 31 to 33 on the highway. So, you know, Volvo wants you to maximize every drop of gas. And the nice acoustic interior helps you appreciate your stereo system. You have a bass stereo system, eight speakers, 250 watts of power. But if you step up into the Harman Kardon system like we're looking at here, then you're gonna appreciate 13 speakers, 600 watts of power. And a world's first, as I'm told, the first air ventilated subwoofer that's actually tucked behind the dash system here. One of the things Volvo did to maximize their interior space is they moved the normal stereo speakers from the door panels and they moved them around the vehicle. There's ample storage in the center console here. You have room for your cell phone. There's a 12 volt outlet, a couple USB power sources. You have your side pockets for your bottled water as well as tablets or what have you. A reasonable sized glove box in the center. Plus your center console here has the now famous removable trash can, hey, right here. And a very deep storage well as well, as well, as well, as well, as well. And between the driver's legs, there's another storage pocket area here, which I wouldn't utilize while you're driving your car. It's not safe. And speaking of safe, you do have Volvo city safe features. As you come over here, you can see you have your electronic stability control system in sport mode, your lane keep assist, uh, parking assist. It can even help you park parallel as well as perpendicular, cross traffic detection, your auto start stop function. You have your blind spot detection. You can control your cameras, your park in and park out. You can even drop the headrests in the back with a push of a button roadside information, cruise control information, locking systems, collision avoidance mitigation, all of that wonderful safety and technology at your fingertips. Oh yes, and I almost forgot. There's a hook right here. You can pop down and throw a bag on, just so you know, right there on the glove box. Everyone's talking about it, so I had to talk about it too. To put it in park, you just simply push the park button right there. Bam, fingertip control. And of course you have your electronic uh, parking brake as well. And most people don't realize how much space that saves inside a vehicle. Besides that old hand crank from way back when, that's just ancient news, I'm telling you. I say this every time I get into a Volvo, and that is the, the nine inch sensor screen is really intuitive, very quick response. And the thing I love most about it is I can turn my auto start stop off with a push of a button up here. The camera settings, the 360 cameras, I can scroll up, get a little more information, roadside information, adaptive cruise control, all of that at my fingertips. And that's what's great. And I think the sensor system has gotten better and better and better. 
navigation is nice because you can see it on the screen very clearly, but you can also transpose it onto your 12.3 inch digital display here. And this is nice because you can customize uh, the display, uh, such as the chrome rings around it. You can also put a sport mode where it glows red, you know how uh, the digital dashes tend to do. Tachometer, digital readout for your speedometer, very easy to see, plus some of your routine uh, maintenance configurations, your fuel efficiency, things of that nature. Now, acceleration. You've got get up and go. As I said earlier, zero to 60 in about 6.1 seconds, thereabouts. I mean, depending on unless you're carrying a lot of heavy camera crew guys back here, but <laughs> It doesn't matter, but it's all good. It's all good. And what's great is you have this luxurious interior and it's somewhat sophisticated. And of course, with the R design, you have your uh, checkered accent chrome uh, across the front plates, the accent with the brushed chrome along your vent systems. I'm just driving all over the place now. I like the all-wheel drive myself because of the extreme amount of traction and control you get in inclement weather. But what's great is you also have here on the dash drive mode select. So you can pick drive as in comfort. You can press it again, dynamic, high performance, eco for your better fuel efficiency. And you can even choose it depending on your vehicle on off-road settings. So that's kind of cool. But I think I'm going to go to comfort because I'm lazy. You have heated seats, of course, which is nice. Heated steering wheel available. And your air conditioning units are controllable. Fingertip touch here right up front. Fan speed, air direction, temperatures. You can scroll up if you can scroll down as well. You can set them yourselves. It all depends on what you're most interested in. We'll put it right there. And then you close it out. And then hit your center button and you're back on track. You have a bending headlights, LED systems up to 30 degrees as needed. Plus you have pre-tensioning belts in the, in the event of an accident. And there's just, it's Volvo safety in and out. There's no doubt about it. Plus sensors all the way around, 360 camera, excellent rear view parking camera. Um, you've got it at your fingertips, in your line of sight, behind your foot and in your hands. And of course you have the available Wi-Fi hotspot for those people that want to stay connected. Plus, you do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatible setup as well. So as far as pricing is concerned, for the T5, that is the all-wheel drive, you're looking at 35.2 for the momentum, and then you step up about another $2,500 for the R design, and then uh, 2,000 and change for the inscription. And the front-wheel drive vehicles are all $2,000 about less. Volvo's reputation for building safe vehicles is legendary. Now, if you combine it with their Scandinavian bold styling cues, coupled with the latest technology and luxury, plus the just the fun under the under the hood with that two-liter turbocharged four, with all that get up and go, then you're going to find you have a winning combination in a compact size. You should check out the XC40 for yourself. I think you'll like what you see.